All right, so I'm in a controlled environment. I'm in the parking lot, and most people don't realize this, but golfers typically move laterally between 250 centimeters a second and 350 centimeters a second, roughly five to eight miles an hour on the outside. So now I'm gonna go to eight miles an hour. I'm in a controlled environment, a little physics experiment. I'm gonna hammer on the brakes. You see the balls move forward. All right, that's your pressure moving forward. All right, so that's your hand speed and ball speed. That's what gives you the ball speed. Well, eight miles an hour again, and I'm just gonna tap on the brakes. Watch this. It has the same effect as if I hammer them on full tilt. Because now, what it leads me to believe, and I'm gonna prove this to you using some software that you're gonna see, is by knowing when to tap on the brakes. You don't have to hammer them on, you just have to tap on them. So you don't have to be unbelievably strong on the lead side, you just have to know when to tap on them. Now I'm gonna show you, and you'll still generate uh, maximum, optimum club head speed and ball speed. Now watch this. So now I'm gonna tilt the, uh, the basket a little bit back representing too much pressure on the trail side. Now, I'm gonna go a little faster than eight miles an hour. I'm gonna take it to 10 and hammer on the brakes. The balls don't move forward at all. And that's the effect of not getting pressured to the lead side quick enough. Uh, and we'll just another pretty face. When I started by track, I included a metric called the release factor, which was the time from peak velocity and impact. And that was the beginning of how to use pressure mapping for shaft fitting. Let's take a look at this trend. Now, what a lot of you guys don't know is that I'm including data. I've been doing research on pounds per square inch. We can actually measure it in Newtons too. And you can see those little numbers inside those squares. And that's gonna tell me how, what the PSI per every inch of my uh, pressure trace is during my swing. And I'm gonna to talk to you about what I call a new metric which I've developed called the brake effect. And one lucky manufacturer is gonna be getting this. And I've been doing a lot of one lucky software manufacturer that is. And we're gonna be able to tell you what part of your foot is the most important part of your foot to break on prior to impact and when to do it so that you can generate much more club head speed and ball speed. All right, so learning how to tap on the brakes at the right time, what part of the foot you're gonna to use to tap on the brakes, how to clear properly, and using the correct shoes, and I'm telling you, the square shoes allow you, they're the most efficient because it allows you full access to the five toes. And the Swing Balance AI shaft fitting system, that combination of shoes and shaft are going to give you the optimization for distance gain. And we're going to teach you that, but it's not going to be free. So here we go. It's a new way to use pressure mapping. Terry Hashimoto, the old dog, bringing out some new life. Here we go.